Just made it back to camp. It's pitch freaking black. No one's been back here. Uh, no tire tracks in the snow. Gotta, gotta get the wall tent set up. Get the fire going. Get warm. It's pretty cold. But fresh coat of snow on the ground. Yeah, fresh, couple inches of snow. Cannot wait for the morning. Jacob should be rolling in any minute now, and we're gonna have a good night around the fire, hanging out, and then go to bed and wake up rested for the morning. And then what's gonna happen in the morning? Is it rut and mule deer time? It is rut and mule deer it's time. It's rut and mule deer time, boy! <laughs> Finally made it to camp. Got camp set up. It's the second week of Zach's quality tag for mule deer here in Washington State. Gonna be here for the long haul until he takes one that he uh, deems worthy to hang his first mule deer. I shot a mule deer doe when I was first a kid. First mule deer buck. Yep. So, looking forward to this week. Got the whole crew here, Zach and Jacob. It's gonna be fun. Yep. Wall tent in the snow, rutting mule deer. I don't know what you can make it any better. Good buddies. That's <laughs> gonna have good food. Hell yeah. We're gonna be eating game that we killed throughout the season so it's actually a pretty cool yeah. little process got Jacob's bear on tap Zach's elk yeah. my deer last year's whitetail yeah but. it's gonna be a fun trip yeah I hope not morning boys uh -huh. morning while I make breakfast, they uh, sleep in their nice air mattresses. Yeah, because we find all the deer and we provide all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Jacob <laughs> makes breakfast. Oh, God. <laughs> so gross. And Jeff shits himself. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. The second Saturday of the season. It's November 11th. Um, Zach and I, Jacob, just got back over here. We're gonna go hit one of the spots that we found uh, with some potential, some serious potential from the last trip. We're gonna. We didn't see uh, much for deer in there last time though. Just the, the feed is amazing. We saw a couple does and a, a smaller buck. So we're gonna go check that out first thing this morning. And uh, hopefully the rut, the week that we missed, kind of fired the rut up and the migration started getting a little heavier so we're gonna go check it out and see what today brings us day three for us yes sir Hello. What you got there, Jeff? New 7200 F2.8. Well, morning of day three. We found an area uh, via Onyx Maps. Looks really good. Came driving up this morning, parked in the spot, no sign of other people being up here. Decided to get out of the truck, walk this road. We've been cutting doe tracks all morning long, walking the road. We're just gonna keep following it. It pops out and looks like there's gonna be a really good spot to do some glassing. So hopefully we get up here, get above this fog or the fog rolls out. We can do some glassing, we can pick up a buck.
called. Day three's over. Uh, tons of deer today. Probably counted upwards of 60, 70 deer. Which, I mean, for for me, that's a really good day. Um, I think 11 bucks is what we ended up with. Uh, a couple decent fours. A really nice three point with uh, probably 16 inch G2s. Um, decent frame, but uh, nothing nothing super exciting. Um, got to watch a lot of deer. Got some cool footage of rut activity. Watched one buck mount a doe. Something none of us have ever seen in the wild before. So that was that was really awesome. Jacob missed out on it because he's slow. Um, but yeah, all the deer that we were seeing yesterday were down in the low country. Everything up high was socked in or getting hammered by people. Um, so we tried to kind of bounce around and stay away from where most of the other tag holders are focusing and get on to some different deer. Uh, about midday, we ended up heading towards this, basically as far west of the unit that we could that we could get into, but didn't see anything with all the smoke or not smoke with all the cloud cover and fog um, and so we just kind of came back and cruised around and tried to put some deer to bed for the night so that we could get back after them uh, tomorrow morning so what's on take it for day three day four day four well day four okay day four I think we just get over and shoot the buck today yeah and just hang out and camp for a couple days just get drunk have a couple of sodas. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's great weather out there right now. Sloshy, wet, disgusting mess. Yeah, it's warmed up overnight, so it started raining instead of snow. So, uh, don't know what that's gonna mean for the roads and the different elevations, but we'll get up and find out we got about an hour and a half till shooting light so we got plenty of time to get ready have a breakfast and head on out we got a lot of money in camera gear Well, spotted some deer from the road, got out, started looking. The hillside kind of came alive with deer. And uh, while we were glassing up there, spotting doe after doe, finally spotted a buck. And uh, it was a buck we had seen opening morning for us. Um, we all kind of decided collectively to pass on him for now. And while we were sitting here phone scoping and watching him, another hunter with a tag came rolling up and we informed him that there's a nice four point let him watch through the phone scope and he decided it was something he'd be willing to take and uh so they're working their way up the ridge right now but unfortunately a hot doe took that buck onto private property um, and they don't know about it so they're gonna go on a nice long hike see a bunch of does and one smaller buck probably but you never know that that doe could bring that buck right back onto public and uh <laughs> and it could be game over for him, so we're just kind of sitting here watching the show unfold.
to go hit a new spot and as we were driving we spotted a lot of deer it was like they started just popping out of everywhere and saw a buck with a good frame got the phone scope on him and buck from the previous weekend um knew it immediately he was chasing does stomping at coyotes chasing off little or smaller bucks so we sat there watched it had some hunters come up talked to them the guy with the tag said that he would probably want to take that buck so he went after the buck and we watched it for a little longer it hopped onto some private property and we decided to bomb out of there and hit some more country and it just turned into a slow slow day after that driving 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 very few deer tracks crossing the road Je jeff and i were sitting out of the truck glassing hundreds of acres of open country and not a single deer so kind of discouraging headed up to the last spot of the day hit some tracks off the road and knew there was a good buck in there and hiked found more deer hitting this skid road next to this clear cut and right at dark we were falling tracks but the way the snow was it could have been hours old at that point so regroup and send it tomorrow so go well day four was brutal um it was really hard to get through what probably eight hours of no deer sightings didn't even cut much track I mean, we glassed everything that we could find to glass, but the fog just beat us down. And if we can't get some wind to push out some of this weather, it's going to be a long eight more days because the cloud cover and the fog is just socked in. You can't glass. You can't see far. So unless the deer's 100 yards away, you're not going to see it. So we... Spotted a bunch of deer first thing this morning, but it was all the same deer we had seen previously. And we tried to get up high and get after those bruiser bucks that are still coming down from the high country and just nothing. Not even cutting fresh track in the snow. Maybe a handful, but th that was it. We'd follow the tracks and, you know, they'd kind of peter out or hit a creek and we'd lose them or w whatever the case may be, but... Today was the type of day that really tests your patience, it frustrates you, and it just, it makes you question everything you kind of know and kind of think and everything that you want to do, you really can't do it because of the weather. So it's it's frustrating. And talking to the other, other hunters out here, it's everyone says the same thing. It's all, everyone's a little disheartened right now with this weather and the amount of bucks that people are seeing and quality bucks that's the big thing i mean most people are seeing smaller fours and three points but doesn't sound like anyone's seeing any big deer right now so unless the weather changes or you know a new new push of deer come migrating down it's going to be a lot tougher than i think we all thought it was going to be so yeah today's the day that kind of puts it all into perspective that even though it's a quality late hunt it's still hunting morning of the fifth day woke up this morning a little late had it rain all night so just, I think I need to get ready here and hit the road not no breakfast this morning or anything see how much snow has fallen in the high country since it's been raining down here, here in camp so Ready, Zach? I'm freaking ready, bro. Checking Facebook, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jeff's still curled up. Pra practically snoring. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So just as the weather was about to get us down, we uh, headed back into town and it 
cleared up and from then on it cleared even more we were gonna hit the low spot but figured it'd be time to take advantage of getting up high so we came to a spot where we've seen deer basically the only spot we've seen deer high and we're gonna get out and hike this ridge so get out of the truck for for once and try to make something happen so way to go Jakob Freaking about time and get some decent weather. Huh? Mm hmm. Time to actually get out of the truck and be real hunters? Yeah, real hunters. Get out and do some stuff. See some country. Hopefully, see some deer. My dad's on his way. Yeah, bluebird day. Burn off the fog that's been hanging in here for too long. He got it. Oh, nice. Teamwork. Yeah. Gotta egg him on sometimes, you know? Help him out. What's going on? No, we just spotted a bedded buck. Well, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff spotted it. Eagle eye. And he, first buck we've seen all day. We've seen one other deer. It's been super slow. Morale was down. And then the sun finally came out. We bombed out of one area to head up higher. Got up here. Luckily, no one was parked where we wanted to go. Hiked on in. Sat down at a glassing spot. Even picking up lots of track down in the bottom. And Jeff spotted a buck. Nothing that we'd probably shoot right now, but it's definitely uh, lifted the spirits back up. Jeff, what are you drinking? Uh, pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> what, Bush what, flavor. <laughs> what time is it? 6.08 a.m. <laughs> uh, wash it down with bacon. I mean, it's, it's okay. okay. Day six. Ready? Well, morning of day six. Yep. It's the first beautiful morning that we've had. Yep. Skies are finally blue. Yep. It's clear. We're gonna be able to glass. Coming up to a spot that Jeff knows about and it doesn't look like anyone's been up here um, So we're really excited. We're really looking forward to this morning. My dad's here. He got in here last night He'll be with us for a couple days. So if We can find a nice shooter buck today. That'd be really special
loaded is just some promising looking country. We're going to get out and hike up that road and see what we can get into for the day. And uh, if that doesn't work out, we got our uh, afternoon, evening hunt planned out already. So, we're getting down into crunch time. Got about four days left. Uh, still plenty of time, but also starting to feel it a little bit. So, hopefully we got some weather last night and uh, some new animals moved down into our country. Are you ready? Take him. Did you miss? Huh? Did you miss? I don't think so. Did you hit him just, did you hit him that second time? I thought so. I'm dead on him. Oh. 
I didn't get to, I didn't even see the second shot. Did you wake a bell? Is it a fall I think? Yeah, I think it might be. He went a long way. Yeah, that's right in. Yeah, it is. Hopefully he fucking gets up and gets pissed off at him. No, it's that thing. He needs to... Yeah, it is. That one, he's walking in the back. That's for me. He's like, you can idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's practiced him seeing where he stands. Oh yeah, he just pushed him off. He's like, all right, your turn. <laughs> Maybe four oh, by he's three. been in his ears now. Four by three is going to get a little confidence. Come after the big guy. That would be like, so I just fun. wrecked this kid. <laughs> oh my God. He's That's... super ruddy. You got balls, dude. He's thinking about it. He's like, I want that dough, but <laughs> damn it, you're big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. But he's thinking in his mind that that big one hasn't had time to get up and oh, stretch. Oh, he just, he just got up. Yeah, it did. This guy definitely sees me. Yeah, you gotta smoke that. He's beautiful. Look how, at how far is he? You guys right here, he's like 470. So, what, well, that was before, so now he's probably 500. Look. So, I think this is that draw. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I don't want to refine that. There's that draw. He's just on the upside. He's like right here. This is to take him in the summer, so it's. Good. Yeah, okay. And then down here is these bushes, yep. these scattered bushes. And there's a fence line going up. Is there not? Oh, I see it. I see it. And yeah. he's just on that side of it. Right? Well, Zach just shot a gigantic buck. Bigger buck than I've ever seen on the hoof. Three hour stock. It's 21 degrees. I stayed back and phone scoped it, but we couldn't get it on film because the fog rolled in. And we didn't have any way to communicate, so I didn't have the phone running when he shot. But I'm on the way down now to meet him. And, uh, holy shit. After what we went through yesterday and trying to keep him positive, and I just found Zach's Havilon laying on the ground. Sweet. We're going to need that. After what we went through yesterday and what Zach went through yesterday, no hunter ever wants to go through that and keeping him positive and keeping him motivated and on the right mind persistence man he just walloped a fucking toad I'm on the way down to meet him right now congrats buddy congrats go ahead I just shot my buck uh, after the really shitty day yesterday 
missing another great buck, hitting a deer in the road with the truck. Yesterday was brutal, and first thing this morning we spotted an even nicer buck up here. Barely outside of public, we watched him come into public. I don't even know how long my stock was, but I barely crawled. It was crawled. three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. I and it was crawled. 23 degrees. Yeah, through the frosted tall grass, I'm soaked to the bone. I crawled up here, had another four by three at 30 yards. I had to wait out. He finally left and I crawled up here and had him bedded the whole time. Got exactly 150 yards and he was only bedded probably 20 yards inside a public and so I just put it right behind the ear. I didn't want him going anywhere and I drilled him and Oh my Holy God. shit, dude. Look at those bases, man. Are you Look at that shot. kidding me? Look at his. Dude, he's got like devil points on eye guards. How does that feel? Pretty freaking amazing. <sighs> what a hog. Beautiful buck, man. Beautiful buck. Well, got Zach's buck all uh, taken care of, packed up and loaded. Gonna head back to the truck. It's uh, 12.30. He shot at 10.15, so didn't make too bad a time. Uh, gonna go celebrate. Pack this sucker out. Well, on day number nine, my Washington quality tag has been filled. Uh, yesterday was by far our hardest day. After multiple days of not seeing much, having little action, finally finding a shooter buck, and missing, we were both pretty devastated, really down. Went to the range, make sure the gun was on, gun was good. So I just had to get that confidence back and uh, first thing this morning spotted this guy and a three hour stock later one shot at 150 yards right behind the ear put him to sleep. So uh, I just I can't thank Jeff enough for you know encouraging me to even apply for this unit because I'd never been here. This is his home unit and Jacob coming along and helping out as much as he possibly could while he was here. My dad was able to make it out for a few days, so this hunt's really special. Um, it's It's been really hard, probably a lot harder than we thought it was going to be, but uh, the grind was worth every second now that uh, I got this guy on my back. Go. Of 2017 quality mule deer hunts finally ended. It's been a total roller coaster ride from seeing lots of deer to seeing no deer. And then finally getting that opportunity yesterday at our first good size shooter buck. And I missed, I missed three times. And he gave me plenty of opportunity and I just wasn't up for it that day. Um, for whatever reason, uh, who knows, call it buck fever, call it new rifle, call it whatever you want. Uh, no excuses, I missed. But it all worked out in the end as Today we found an even better buck um, and I made a three hour stock, got into perfect position at 150 yards and I put one right behind the ear in his bed. Uh, it doesn't get much better, there was a lot of emotion being let out at that moment and uh, you know, you miss and your confidence gets rattled and so I just had to take a moment, tell myself I can do this and 
I've been there before and I'll be there again, I'm sure. But uh, with that, that's the end of the 2017 season. Uh, we just want to thank you guys for following along with us on this hunt. And we hope you enjoy it. <laughs>